And what is the, this is a hard question. <laughs> what is the worst part about that, about that experience? feels superficial. Mm -hmm. It feels that the, that the ideal is on the outside and that it doesn't matter what's on the inside at all. There's like no credit given. Mm -hmm. Seems true, right? Like who she is on the inside when she stands on that rug and looks in the mirror, that's not what's being reflected back. What's reflected back is what we want you to be. Mm -hmm. And even what I think I want to be. Uh, and what you think you want to be. Still not the same. Uh-huh. Still not who I am on the inside and what I truly value. Yeah. It feels like that conflict of like never good enough because there's a piece of me that is proud but then there's the conflicting part that's like, that's not anything. Anybody could do that. So it's that like conflict that's reflected both in me not showing up the way I want to and the world judging too. So it's compounded and that's why it feels so heavy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because they've set the precedent and then part of you agrees with it and you're like, yeah, I do want to climb mountains and wear high heels. And that's not what I value, but I kind of value it. And so now I'm like, uh. Yeah. And that's why I feel like I'm in a bind. That just keeps coming up for me in a bind. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What, I don't it, know. what does it Something. mean to you to be in a bind? Your it's definition. Just, it's just, um, there's no, it's like a lose lose. Mm -hmm. And you kind of have to pick because you have to get out of the bind, but you're going to, it's not going to be pretty. Either way you go, something, you give up something major. No matter what you do, you're fucked. Yep. And that, I feel that in the sense that there's two mirrors as well. So it's like, no matter which way you look, this is here. You can't get away from it unless you stay in the scratchy bed, which is uncomfortable. Yep. Got it. I feel it. like the gauntlet. Like you have to run the gauntlet. What does that mean? <laughs> it's like the same thing where there's like things hitting you on either side and there's like, uh -huh. I don't know, like Indiana Jones or something. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's like knives and boulders and snakes. I don't know. <laughs> well, I'm interested in that because that's part of the quest. The hero's journey is you're going to have monsters and obstacles to overcome. And that's how you make it to victory and treasure and become stronger. So what mm -hmm. if that was true about this? Yeah, that does feel better. That feels a lot more relieving and maybe more on the disappointing side then. If you look at it as this is just a trial, it's not going to be pretty. But when you come out the other side, you're going to know something you didn't know. That reframe makes it feel a lot less scary. So let's work with that. Cause when we started, it was like, Hey, there's two options. You can be in the uncomfortable bed or you can stand and look in the mirror and feel devastated. Like mm -hmm. that felt like the only two choices. If we say this is a quest and these are the things to overcome, then how does she interact differently with the objects in the room? Mm. I think she still gets out of bed but like a determined heaviness instead of like a, oh, I can't do this heaviness. She's like, I will do it. <laughs> Some warrior energy. Yeah. Okay. And so then she trods up. And I think instead of putting on her blinders when she turns, I think she just like squares her shoulders and is like, no matter what, I'm doing it. <laughs> and where does she go with that attitude? I think she goes still straight out, but maybe with a little like to the back. <laughs> and which mirror does she look in first or does, yeah, which obstacle does she face first? I think the mountains. Okay. It feels so like she would turn that way. Yep. So she's got her warrior determined. I'm doing this. She looks there and what happens? 
I think she just like shrugs it off. Like I knew it wasn't going to be what I thought it was going to be. Mm -hmm. I'm not here for that. What are you here for, warrior goddess? I'm here for the wisdom of the quest. Oh. oh, so it's not actually about what I see in the mirror. That's just part of the illusion. I'm here for something deeper. Much deeper. Uh-huh. That feels really satisfying, right? It's like, oh, I'm not, I'm not going to get fooled by this. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, and like, and I think even that world, I'm not going to get fooled by that world that's just looking to judge me. Mm -hmm. I'm here for these women that hold space for me, that cheer me on in my journey and say, hugs to you. I see your tears. That's who I'm here for. That's who I want. If there has to be judgment, that's who I want judging me. Mm -hmm. And is there anything else that happens between warrior goddess and the mountain mirror. I think there's got to be some bit of acceptance of the superficial. Uh -huh. Like There can be fun in being a bit superficial. Like I think I look at those heels and I'm like, you know what? It's fun sometimes just to put it on and like do the thing. Yeah. And that's not, it doesn't have to be a full rejection of every piece of it. Yeah. But more of like a, these look hot. I want these. And mm -hmm. that's also totally fine. Yeah. What you're saying to me has a really strong spiritual implication, which is there is an illusion of the mind. It's an illusion of our separateness. It's an illusion that people's judgments can kill us or hurt us when we're really all one with the one. Mm -hmm. And so the warrior goddess is like, I know what's really up here. I am connected to spiritual purpose and I see the illusion, but you still have to play the game. Mm -hmm. You still have to live in the world and you can enjoy wearing the heels, but you also know that it's not what it's about. Yeah. Yeah. And I think on that, that same token, it's not going to get you any farther in the game to reject it so far that you can't have fun either. That's the Chinese finger trap. The more you push and reject it, the more you're fucking stuck to it. Yeah. So it's, yeah, you're gonna be its slave then. Mm -hmm. And that's true. I mean, you were a slave, you were stuck in the bed and you were like, I'm gonna lay in this itchy blanket that's uncomfortable because it's better than dealing with this. Like mm -hmm. that's not good, right? No, that's not fun. And it's not getting me anywhere. I'm not gaining no. any wisdom. I'm just like stuck in my head of like, what is out there? What's going to happen to me? It's literally not getting you anywhere. You're like, no. and I'm going to stay in the bed because it's better. Yeah. <laughs> Great. Great. Okay. So now what happens with her? She's facing that mirror. Is there anything left to say? Does she turn? Where does she go? Yeah, she turns, and actually this makes perfect sense now. She picks up that rug. I I, I feel it now because I didn't really understand, so my second image is, like, her kind of, like, clothed in these things. Um, so I think she, she turns, and she's like, you know what? I can take what I need from this situation and make it fabulous. <laughs> That's what she's going to do. I'm going to take this and make it fabulous. <laughs> yeah, she's like she's like like lemons no lemonade 